Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. All right, so this is going to be for Libra. Libra, this will not resonate with everyone. Please take what fits. Leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted, okay? And if you uh, want to get a personal reading with me, please look in the description box for the link to my website and the notero1122.com. Hey, baby. I love you, too. This is my puppy. Okay, get down. Good boy. Get down. Down. Ow. Okay, I'll play with you later. Get down. Down. Okay, so let's see. All right, so Libra. Um, Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that was way out. I saw it on the camera. Okay, so. um. Wow. All right. So let's see. Maybe some of your ancestors are here. As long as they're quiet and don't bother me, we cool. <laughs> All right. So anywho, let me stop being uh, crazy. Uh, that last reading, whoa. Okay. And I was really surprised to see how many people resonated with that reading. And oh my God. Um, yeah. My heart goes out to you. I hope that actually gets resolved and you do a special for you, boo, okay? All right, so let's see. That was deep. All right, so let's see. What's happening with your ex and your next, okay? I know most of you do not care one iota what is going on with your ex. Most of us don't. But for whatever reason, in my readings, they like to show up like, hey, <laughs> need you to put this in that can you tell them this can you can you tell her that can you come on man just put the word in for me okay and then other times they're like yeah i don't really want you to tell my business but i'm trying to come back so it is what it is so we'll just get them out the way okay all right please keep in mind like i said this is not going to resonate with everyone as this is a collective reading okay so take what fits and leave the rest all right, so let's see. And if it gets too crazy, I might do another reading for you guys. Because, yeah. Oof. All right, let's see. What's going on with Libra's ex? Give me messages from this person about this person. In a way, I want to switch decks. All right, we're going to go ahead and work it. Ooh. Five of Swords. There's some conflict between you and this person. This is definitely a cycle that is closed out. This person might be going through some mental torment here, possibly thinking about the things that were said and how things fell apart and all of this. This person also might have other people um, feeding them information, their, their opinion about this situation here. You have the King of Wands. All right. So this could be someone that is very attractive. They go after what they want. Okay. This could be a very sexual person, too. You have, oh, here we go with the fire signs again. Okay. So, um, Libra, you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, but there's communication here that they want to have. This person feels like you are their counterpart, like you guys really, really match here, but for whatever reason, um, well, not for whatever reason, like I said, this person, the King of Wands, they get a lot of attention here. So this person possibly has multiple people that they were given to, okay? But there's something about the connection between you guys. Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay, let me go again with this. Okay, there's something about the connection with you guys that you guys actually really vibe together. Okay. All right, so, sorry about that. Somebody is dragging a couch outside and my dogs decided to lose their minds. So, anywho, all right, as I was saying, um, 
I gotta say, I do see some other stuff going on here, but I'm gonna leave it for this right now. If it comes back up later on in the reading, I will mention it. But it kind of looks like this person, uh, you may actually be in communication with this person still. You could be talking to this person off and on. All right, but the communication could be kind of heated when you do talk to each other. So you got a lot of fire coming up here, lots. It looks like this person actually wants to reach out and say something to you, all right? They do want to come to some type of compromise here, uh, some type of stability here, okay? This person actually could, you know, you could be, this is weird. Okay, two different scenarios. You could have lived with this person at one point in time, okay? This person um, really wants to get on one accord with each other so that you guys can actually um, kind of bring back bring things back together and I don't know why but I got that there may be someone here that is still cohabitating with this person still sharing a home with this person okay and um, although you guys are not seeing eye to eye you possibly not really sleeping together or whatever because somebody possibly dips out here in other relationships other people you know and maybe this person got caught there's, there's, there's some stuff here all right, but there's love here, but somebody is holding back right now. What the heck is this? And I don't know if you can hear that buzzing going on, but that's my neighbor's. Um, restroom. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna kind of, kind of want to use those. So. But we're gonna see what the T is here because I'm kicking up on something here, and I hope this isn't the same person from that last reading because they had a lot going on. Now, you guys may be dealing with someone that has a lot of fire in their chart, like really, or either this is someone that just has that, that type of energy, and I swear every time I cut the deck, I'm seeing a fire sign. This is crazy. All right, so let's see. All right, so, all right, so you have the king of cups this person is in their head here because they do have feelings for you but it's all over the place the emotions are all over the place there's conflict between you guys this person also might have some type of mental conflict here as well oh okay someone here wants to be able to do their thing but keep this relationship too so, emotions are all over the place. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, wanting something new here. Give me more. This person is holding back. Yeah. Thinking about things from a different perspective. All right, deep introspection. Do I really want this connection or not? I do have love for this person, but damn, there's a lot of drama here. There's conflict here. We go back and forth. I say something or do something and this person tries to out trump me. So the hell. All right. So this person is holding back but wanting a new beginning, wanting something stable, waiting for the opportunity to come in with the three of wands. But I think there's other people surrounding here. There may be someone standing in the way. Either in their life or yours. I'm not sure. Let's see. There's something in the way here. Give me messages. Hmm. Holding 
by communication. Somebody's in a false mask here. Okay, not telling the truth. Someone also here may have gotten caught up in some lies here with an empress. Okay. Somebody got caught up in some lies here. Somebody was hiding secrets and they got busted. Someone here. See? This is kind of like the same. Okay, there was communication coming in from a spouse or someone that they were in a committed relationship with. This person is not. They were withholding information, hiding what they were doing, not really giving love to the situation, although they have love for you, but they were given to other people. This is lies, deception, wearing a false mask here, okay? This person wasn't showing you what they were doing behind the scenes, okay? But they got busted, all right? By the empress, yes, broke this empress's heart. Someone was being arrogant here, very big uh, dictatorial. All right, wanting things their way. Mm. Trying to use the knowledge that they have for you as your weakness. Okay, this person, ooh. This person knows your every move. Using your... Okay, so this person knows your schedule. So using that against you too, to cheat, hop out in other relationships and things like this. This person was big, bold. Feeling like they were not going to get caught, but they did. Because karma would have it. Yeah. What you do in the dark always comes to the light. So now this person is thinking about their actions. Was it really worth it? I have an empress here, someone that matches my energy, so to speak. Very sexually attracted to this person here, all right, to you. This person is able to manifest money into their life. No matter how they get it, they can get it, you can too. Very ambitious, attractive. Let's see. You are too. Let's see. Give me more. Yeah. See, the Queen of Wands here. Look at this. Someone here. Mm. So travel to do their dirt too. This is also something you may have found out. The sun was just popping up here with the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. You got the world, the, what is this, the knight of cups here? Okay, so this person spreading the love, wow, with the devil here, clarified by the queen of wands, a seductress. I see what I want. I'm going after it. I'm attracted to it. This person knows how to lull people. Okay. Pull people in with words. To get what they want. My goodness. This person definitely has more than one person that they were dealing with. Oh my goodness. And I'm sorry, but this is coming up again. This person might be pansexual. I'm going to put it that way. All right, into all kind of things here. Take it how it resonates. Yes, this person definitely has a spouse, a significant other. You. We got matches showing up here. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. We have the uh, King of Coins to the Queen of Coins. When I showed you the Empress, the Emperor was right up under that. So this is someone you're matching your energy. This is crazy because this always pops up in your readings. 
every time I do Libra readings, you always get the couple, the match. Hmm. I see what I want. I'm going after it. Regardless if I'm in a connection or not. This one ain't going nowhere. It's stable. Somebody gonna play themselves. What is this sticking out here? What did I just say? The King of Swords. Somebody here probably found out a whole bunch of stuff and decided, you know what? I'm cool on this. I gotta nip this in the bud. This is you doing too damn much here. Okay, so let's see. Give me messages about this person, please. Can I get four for this person, please? For Libra. Whoever this person is is a hot mess. Ooh. Okay, I'll take it. And I asked for four, and that's just exactly what popped out. On the bottom of the deck, getting kicked to the curb. Okay, yeah, somebody doesn't want to deal with this person anymore. Ooh. Public porta potty just came to mind. Bad choices, fake friends. This person is spoiled as hell. They used to get in their way. Spoiled rotten. This person is also used to people spoiling them too. This is the same person from this past reading, I do believe. I don't know. All right, so you got get in the room, motel, hotel. All right, so this person is sleeping with other people, creeping in secret. Mm -hmm. This person is very careful though. Hmm. Very, very careful. If this person gets a room, this is probably in somebody else's name and they may have slipped up and got it in theirs. In theirs excuse me. All right, fake friends. <laughs> the people that this person is conversing with online to their spouse, to their significant other. Oh, these are friends. No, they're not, sweetheart. No, they're not. Bad choices. Yeah, you done made some bad choices. You done messed up on a real one. That's what you did and got caught. Let's see. Soulmate. Your soulmate loves and accepts you, respects you unconditionally. I don't know. Put away the computer. Working less will strengthen your relationship. Maybe this is something that they have been telling you. Somebody wants, this person wants your attention. That's no excuse, though. I've been wanting your attention. You're not giving me attention. These people give me attention. This is something that's coming up in the conversation here. If you were working less and putting more in the relationship, then I wouldn't have dipped out. You have accepted this person's flaws and all. However, there may be some differences between you and this person. Okay, I'm not going to go on that. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> if you cheated and were going through the same thing that I, that I was doing, you neglected me, and you cheated, I would accept you back. Wow. Okay. I don't know how to let you go. Like I said, this person is in their head. I know we have a soul connection. Yeah, absolutely you do. You really do because you're coming up as each other's opposites, the yin and yang. Let's see. But, and you got soulmates here twice. You probably are, it might be a karmic though. Okay, let's see. So many things remind me of you. This person could, could um, nostalgia smells and, and songs and, and things like that. Things that you guys introduced each other to um, remind this person of you. Wow. I know I crossed the line with you. Yeah, this person feels like they have... Um, pretty much into the point of no return. I wish things could be different. Yeah. Oh, you should have kept the draws on, ma'am, sir. How 
an adult conversation anymore. Gaslighting you makes me feel in control by invalidating your feelings. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So, we got a narc here. We got a narcissist. I prefer to think of you in a negative way than to admit you were right. Oh, so we blame shift. Okay, not taking responsibilities for our actions. Yeah, you might be dealing with a narcissist. Matter of fact, I want to find out what's going to come out about this person. Give me messages about this person. I'm sorry, Bert. Oh, my God. Uh, Libra. This might be a long one. So, it is what it is. Passion and same chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. Absolutely. Union, wedding, married, soul, connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, so this person could be, if you're not married to this person, they could be married. All right, and it says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, egos, and jealousy. All right, so yeah, this is what's happening here. This person, you're spending too much time away from them. They're frustrated. They're not getting enough of your attention, so to speak. They like attention from other people, okay? Um, this person has some ego issues, fear, lack of confidence, self-esteem issues. So they seek attention from other people, okay? All right, but like I said, they are very attracted to you as well. And I'm just curious. Ah, nice. Yeah, somebody needs to do some shadow work here. All right, so let's see. All right, so it didn't come out so cool. You could be dealing with a narc. I mean, you know, with the gaslighting and all that. Who knows? Give me information for Libra. I almost forgot who was reading I was doing. All right. Meditation brings answers. There's something better. Ooh, this is telling you to move on, sweetheart. You deserve better. Why would you want somebody like this in your life? All right. So let's see. What other messages do you have for Libra? I mean, hell, if this person was to sleep around and all that other crap, then, you know, hey, let them go so they can be free and do what they need to do. All right, passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. And then religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right, so you may want someone that is more aligned to your belief system here so who knows you may actually go you know seek um someone that's into spirituality someone that's a christian catholic muslim hindu whatever it is that you're into you know you might want to find somebody that has integrity and uh the morals that you're looking for Ooh, judgment why are you flying over here this person wants to reconcile all right this person is also being judged very harshly as well all right, you're seeing this person from a different perspective. So you're really, really, really making a decision about this person here. Holding back, <laughs> withdrawing your your um, your affection and attention from this person. Although you still love this person. You got love for this person. But you also know that this person might have other secrets that you don't know about. All right, give me more for this person, please. And thank you. Why? This person's in a third party situation here. There's other people here. Or at least this is what you're thinking. But this person is already involved with someone else. They do want to reconcile with you though. Hmm. I also see that there was a lot of times, enjoyable times that you have with this person, okay? And it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy because it kind of seems like this person was your wish fulfillment. Everyone, everything that you wanted. They ticked all the boxes except for, you know, the, I was going to say they're a hoe, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm not here to judge you are. <laughs> so, looks like you blocking out... Um, backing away from this person but it looks like they might uh, make some type of appearance or at least try to reconcile um in the near future once this heat calms down from here because yeah there's some heated conversations going on here yeah all right so let's see all right all right all right so this new person that's coming into your life here i think this person is actually going to have you look at relationships from a different perspective okay i also think that you are going to be looking at this person 
from uh, with a magnifying glass. But this new person, I think, is going to bring a lot of beautiful, happy times in your life. This person is actually going to bring in stability. All right. Um, there is a possibility that you may find yourself moving this to the next level. Someone that is a, a companion to you that can end up being a spouse here. I think this person is going to lighten your heart, lighten your mood, and help you heal as well. I think there's going to be a lot of abundance and happiness here. What is this? Queen of Cups. I also feel that this person is going to give you the love that you deserve as well. I think, like I said, I think this person is going to help you heal your heart. This person's got some stuff going on. Let's see. Give me more, please. Yeah. There's something unexpected that's happening here with the world here. As a matter of fact, this is someone here. You might be online doing your thing, might comment on something. Somebody might chime in on a comment that you make or something like that online. And you may find yourself meeting someone uh, via online pl uh, platform here, okay? Um, or either if you're traveling. If this is what you do, hell, you could bump into somebody in the store and you're not expecting to see this coming. Actually, you might be a little closed off because of what happened here, but I think someone is going to come towards you unexpectedly and help you heal from this mess over here because this is a bunch of drama. Don't nobody need that, especially from grown folks, okay? All right, so let's see. So, you might find yourself weighing your options when it comes to this new person as well. Trying to use your intuition, what's going on? I don't think you're going to tell this person that you've met somebody new, all right? I think you're going to keep that to yourself. But I also feel that this person over here is going to be trying to weigh on your emotions, trying to, you know bring up you know hey we got this connection we have history you could have children with this person i don't know i didn't see it pop up in the reading but you could have i don't know but the history here this person does not want to let go all right but they got some other stuff going on some this baby here needs to heal they they got they got some work to do okay i'm just saying all right so let's see Okay, so apparently we got interruptions with your videos, okay? So, yeah. But anywho, all right. So, on the hangman, we have the eight of coins here. So, I think you are literally going to be thinking about if you really want to put in work for the situation here, okay? Is it worth it? Um, have you gone through this situation with this before? Do you want to expend any more of your energy with this person when there could be a third party here, okay? Okay. With this new person, I think that you're definitely going to um, look at this person like not being funny, but what BS are you bringing into my life? Am I still going to have, you know, a mirror image of what I've already dealt with? Okay, so before you even jump into this situation here, you want to know everything and everything about this person. Are you bringing something toxic into my life? Is there someone else here? What is your deal? Are we going to mesh? And if this person comes in and throws up any red flags, I think you are going to be quick to kick this person to the curb, okay? But one of the things that I do notice is that I think this person is going to bring a lot of healing energy to your life here. I think you're going to be very happy and not being funny. If you decide to go there, you might be very happy in, in the bedroom too. Oh my God. And if you do, this person's going to be mad. Let's see. Oh. I guess. Anywho, let's keep it pushing. All right. So yeah Ugh. yeah see with the three of cups here like i said your your past person is actually juggling so this is one of the reasons why you're actually scrutinizing this person here okay be very careful with this new person because there is a possibility that they may be involved someone with someone else all right um, this is another reason why you're actually looking at this person like, yeah, I'm not sure what you got going on here. Um, am I going to have to cut you off? Let's be open and honest about this situation before I make a decision if I want to deal with you. Because this person actually may be sleeping with someone else here. 
All right, but you also have to remember, and I'm not giving you any excuses or whatever. You have to remember that you're in the dating phase with this person here, okay? So, um, me personally, be open and honest with this person and, and ask this person what's going on. Are you seeing anybody else and all that? Is it? I swear, I asked this one person one time, <laughs> are you in a relationship? And they said no. And then I flipped it and I said, well, is there anybody that thinks they're in a relationship with you? And dude said yes. So, like I said, before you decide to go here with this person, just try to, um, you know, use your best judgment here, sweetheart. And not being funny, you might want to kind of take a break for a minute and uh, do some healing on your own and figure out what it is that you want to do with this person if you haven't already kicked them to the curb for good. All right? Because if not, you may be attracting the same energy into your life. Just a different body, okay? Same spirit, just different body. All right, so you have the four of wands with the eight of cups with the ace of cups. So, ooh, yeah, this is crazy. You know what you want. You know what you're worth, okay? And you're not settling for less. Unless you get what it is that you deserve, that you're wanting in your life, you are quick to walk away from this, okay? And in order to um, clearly move into a healthy relationship, you are going to have to let this person go. Literally. Knight of Swords. Truth coming out here with the Ten of Cups healing. Okay, so... Some of you may say, well, you know what? They got some issues. Maybe I'll try to work this out with this person, you know, to meet them in the middle. If that's your thing, boo, then do it. You know, if you want to reconcile with your person, do that. But have some standards about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't just give to a situation that you're not getting what it is that you deserve here. All right. And I would hate for you to have to be in a situation where you have to play detective private eye and things like that, because that's yeah not cool so again you are gonna have to have a conversation with this person okay and figure out what it is that you want to do about this mess over here because it kind of seems like what they're doing is infiltrating a lot over here which is really funny because the last two readings I did the person um, well that last one I did Scorpio got kind of violent, but this one here, there's a conversation that needs to be had here, all right, and with this person here, you may have a little bit of fun with this person, um, just to try to get this person off your mind, but like I said, when it comes to sleeping with this person, take your time, sweetheart, because there might be some things here that uh, are mirroring this situation. This person may be involved with someone here or this person could have been in a relationship where they were actually being juggled and things like that too so this person may be you know getting out of a relationship where they were actually cheated on as well all right so let's see take it how it resonates give me more please and thank you all right uh i'm gonna say this again Use your best judgment, head over heart decision when you deal with this person. Because your two of pentacles is actually clarifying the six of pentacles. This could actually be this person juggling you and someone else or you being indecisive if you want to give this person your time, okay? Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the high priestess and the king of swords, okay? Please use your discernment here. All right, use wisdom, speak to your higher powers, ask them to come down and, you know, just like they showed you what was going on here, ask them to reveal what's going on with this person, okay, and show you direction. All right, and this is so long. Let's see. Give me information about this new person here, but take your time, take your time, take your time. All right, because one thing you don't want to do is end up in a bad relationship. Yeah, break up end up in a bad relationship all right and um what was i gonna say 
oh, in a bad relationship and then end up getting with somebody that's really, really cool and that's really honest and things like that that wants a relationship as well. And then you end up using them as a rebound. Oh, my God. Okay, so I do see that this person is coming into your life after you decide to break it off with this person here. Um, this person might be one that bears gifts and things like that. You know, you never know. But also, I think for a minute, even though there's some BS going on with this person or possibly with this third party here, okay, and possible juggling, I don't know. Um, kind of seems that way to me, but it could be that this person was being juggled themselves, okay? So they might have some stuff going on. Be adult, have a conversation about it, work it out, take your time, don't rush into it, okay? Ask God to reveal what's going on for you, okay? And you'll know when something, something just ain't right with a person, okay? Gotta go keep sweat on you, all right? But for a minute, this person is gonna seem like a breath of fresh air, a blessing, okay? Mm -hmm. And if anything, this person is letting you know, hey, you still got it, you still sexy. I'm just saying, you can still pull them, okay? So yeah, there's that. All right, priority. Contemplation. See, this happened before. In another reading that I just did, I think today, that contemplation flew way over here to this past person. So this is something, like I said, you may be, hell, you may be the person that's juggling this person and that one, trying to figure out what it is that you're trying to do here, okay? But I think this person here is going to show you that they will make you a priority, Okay, so keep that in mind here. But there is third-party competition here. See, this is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is some BS. Be mindful of this person. Like I said, just, just take your time, sweetheart, because this person could actually have someone else, all right? So... That's crazy, but you know what? It's a trip because this is the world that we live in today, you know? Sad to say. All right, researching. I told you you might meet this person online trying to find things about you. Sensual, want to take you out dancing. All right, just be careful. Addictions. Okay, so this person might have some type of addictions here. Gambling, drugs, violence, codependency. Could have sex addictions here too. Obsession. Please be careful with this person. Give me one more, please, and thank you. Why? Bad influence. That lands over here. Wow, around the wrong people, un <laughs> engaging in unhealthy relationships, and engaging in unhealthy habits. Be mindful with this person over here, too, because this could be going on with them, and they could also be holding secrets. Okay? So, um... You most likely don't need my advice on this one because my thing is deuces. But, um, yeah, just be careful with this situation, sweetheart, and use your best judgment, okay? All 